Thanks, Glenn. All right, we're going to have a quick discussion on hierarchy of controls for a PCBU or a builder within the construction industry. Okay, so we have these one, two, three, four, five, six items, which are different categories, have just been changed. And we're going to start from the top, which is the highest, the best way of stopping someone from hurting themselves with whatever the hazard is, to the least. All right, so number one, we'll start with an elimination. Now, I'm going to explain this as an example with Joe. I love this picture, don't you? Joe the carpenter, and he needs to cut a piece of timber, say a stud going in the wall. Okay, the hazards involved in that are going to be, I'll just name a few, uh, use of power tools or machinery. We have electrical hazard. Uh, we have dust and some noise hazards, pretty much. Might be some metal handling, but we'll worry about those another time. What we need to do is he needs to cut this timber, okay? Now, the top of the hierarchy of controls, the best way of him avoiding himself getting hurt would be just to eliminate that completely. But we can't, we need to put that timber in. So we'll go to the next hierarchy of controls, which is in the part two. Firstly, can we substitute it? And substitute, for example, would be uh, with the electrical hazard. We may say, instead of using a power saw, Joe is going to cut it by hand saw. Okay? So we're going to substitute it, the method. That might not be any good. The reason why is because we need to get the circular saw and get it done quickly so we can uh, you know, make money. So we might isolate it, which would be putting in barricades and just isolating it to that one area. Isolate from the dust and the noise. So it's only affecting one person rather than everyone on site. Does that make sense? There's another method. We could use engineering controls, so we could change it and have engineering controls where um, you could take it out to a factory and get the machine cut. So the timber could be machine cut. So a CNC machine or something similar. But that's probably going to be too expensive for this instance. Okay? So maybe not use that. To our last Protocol, which is in the administration part three and the personal protective equipment, we can use administration by ensuring that Joe, he's got longer, longer legs this time, ensuring Joe has been trained as a competent operator, so we know that he can actually use that, that machinery or that power tool properly. Uh, that he's also been trained in the safety aspect on that side of doing that job. Make sense? Yep. And then lastly, when he does use it, he will have to wear personal protective equipment. If we can't use any of these items, we're going to be putting on hard hats, we're going to be wearing goggles. <laughs> Very good goggles. Nice. We're going to be wearing earmuffs, possibly, and actually, we're going to be wearing boots. So hopefully that makes sense as an example. 